Hello, welcome back to the Let's Play Animal Lake. So, in the last part, we were just running away from the cops who weren't even chasing us at the moment. But we are still running away from them because they, they just might be after us. Well, and something not very nice is gonna happen. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. What the hell? Not very nice like this is gonna happen now. Friggin' taking objects. This shit ain't right. Whoa, that was a ow. I think that takes care of them. Three flares. You're gonna come alive, aren't you? I don't care, I'm just gonna make a run for it. Ouch. And why did you have to say it? was shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left, no guilt either, not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. And more of As a the teenager, future. just starting to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. That's what it makes fun. Yeah. Ain't that fun now, is it, Alan? Ain't that fun now, huh? I just heard something. Better take out my shotgun. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. I promise I won't hurt you. Come on out. Damn it. Damn trees. Well, apparently they, it, there ain't nothing here. So let's go. Damn it! Heck no! Get away from me! I didn't call 911. God damn it! Get away! You had your sickle. Come on, reload! Boom! Yeah! I better save my shot a little bit. Freaking epic! Okay, I better keep running. Who great in the dark warehouse? Hey, stop knocking over stuff. That shit ain't nice. Whoa. They're on a flare right now.
Damn it. Get down, I said. That was too close. I probably could have died from that hit, since I don't have full health. In light, you can hurt them. Well, thanks for telling me something I already know. Oh my god, it's Night Springs! We take the facts of our existence for granted, unaware that they are merely a thin veneer of desperate self-delusion, covering a vast cosmos of madness oh god. and horror. All too often, the stars are right in Night Springs. Night Springs tells the truth about humanity and the world! Journalist Alvin Durlis trip to study the local customs of an insular community in Night Springs has been less than successful until tonight. Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Durlis, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition, but you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are man short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Did I really? Of course, Mr. Dirt. Well, I guess that's the least I... What would I have to do? Oh, here. Let me show you with a kiss. I, um, I... <laughs> Perka, the dweller in flesh. Your body oh, shall God. cost a thousand young, and all shall be glory. Shh, darling, be calm. Shh. Oh, God. Alvin Durlitt learned a harsh lesson. If you go looking for mythology, it may come looking for you. And such quests always bear fruit. In Night Springs! I freaking love that show. Anything else? Nope. Manuscript. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Well, I think I'll just get right here and we'll continue in the next part. See you then.